Hi everyone, Fred Nicholas again with you, but that's not me standing in front of you, that's William Cornell. And you've met William before, he's the young man that runs my karate school, uh, he's a national and world champion, phenomenal martial artist, and just an all-around good guy. So William's going to take you through some slow techniques today. I'm going to talk you through it, but he gets to do the work. And because he's a younger guy, we may have to work him a little bit harder. So from here, let's put you into a ready position. Okay, now, now let's check that. Let's put your feet one shoulder width apart and hands up. Okay, this, guys, is a basic balance position, and you can try this. It's a great exercise. What it does is it really works on the quads, the thigh area of the leg, and on the support buttocks, and it works wonders on the balance. I do this in all my combat classes, and the people love it, and they whine a little bit because it, uh, it can be a little bit painful. So you give it a shot and see what happens. So what we're going to do is raise one leg up, and simply extend it, hold it, 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, then back, and then you can either put it down, or as we're gonna do, we're gonna just keep putting it out and hold it. Good, and again, the leg that's extended, you'll feel this in your thigh, and you'll feel it on the leg that you're standing on in the buttocks and hip, and bring it back, and once again, extend it. And as he's doing this, he's breathing, and notice his eyes. Your eyes are very important in this because they give you balance. Where your eyes go, your balance goes. So this is a extended front kick. Good, you can bring that back and then set it down. Again, you can do it, again, both legs work great. We're just going to do it one leg. I think you get the idea pretty well. Now, let's take your right hand and put it on the wall. Okay, now notice when he does this, he's also going to turn his right toes towards the wall. Okay, and that's called a pivot, and the reason for that is because it turns your hips over turns your power over and also takes pressure off your support leg. Okay, so from here, this is a little bit of a different technique. Now this is where he's going to raise his left knee up, so go ahead and do that. And notice his foot is level with his knee. So you've got your, your hip is turned over, your knee is pointed at your target. Now this is important. You want your knee to point right in line with your shoulder, so that means you have to arch your buttocks in and pull your shoulders back. And notice his front hand, he's got that up because that helps with his balance, it helps with his alignment, and it just is the proper way to do it. Now from here, this is a great one for the buttocks and the lower back. So go ahead and extend that technique out. Again, 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000, 4-1000, 5-1000, and then back. And once again, extend it. And as far, and, and then once again, put it out. Good, now he's picking it up a little higher. Now if you can get it that high, you're in business. And the higher you go, obviously the harder it becomes. Good, and bring it back once again. Now let's do one where you get it as high as you possibly can and hold it. So, And he hasn't stretched a whole lot. There you go. Good, and breathing the whole time. And again, slow kicking, folks, is a wonderful way to develop your strength, your power, your balance. So again, just these two simple exercises. Well, you know what, just for the heck of it, let's turn the other side too because I don't want you to get lopsided on me here if we only do one leg. So raise that one up, and again, the same thing, extend it out. Good, now again, it doesn't matter the height that you do it at, but by holding these out for five or 10 seconds, it's a great buttocks, lower back, and hip workout, and I think it's something that you could really enjoy doing. Okay, great, good, and let's set it down on the floor then. So that's what we're going to do for you today, guys. But again, all of these things that we're going to show you little snippets of, if you take them and work on them, you will feel a difference in your body guaranteed. Again, these are all exercises that I do with my local combat endurance training group, and those people love it. So you guys have a great day, and we'll see you again next time.